Okay, YouTube, um, this is part one in, in the build that I'm starting right now. Got a late nighter. Um, recorded some videos for you guys. You can't see that clock from over here. I don't know why I'm pointing it at it. It's 12.30 in the morning. But I'm getting started on doing this. I need to wrap this up by this weekend. Um, would like to have it completely wrapped up and ready for paint by tomorrow night. So here's what I'm building. Um, this is basically a display for some bulletproof glass and you know or bulletproof I don't know blast proof, blast proof glass that a company sells I believe it's um armored one or something like that I'll put the the link to their website in the description it'll also be in the in the title as well I think anyway what this does is right here in this area they're going to put in sheets of glass and these will be what secures the glass into place obviously the down tubes are to support it because this will collapse and, and fold up it's not going to be exactly how this drawing is there's going to be some casters there's going to be some rubber feet as well as some rubber stoppers on the back here to so they can put it up against the wall and not have to worry about damaging things um, design is going to be pretty much the same with a few changes so and, and mainly it's going to be to the down tubes I'm going to do one solid tube versus versus the two um, I'm not sure if I'm going to connect them or not we'll, we'll see about that I, I'm up in the air about this the down tubes at this point tonight what I'm going to try to do is, is get this this bottom frame built and this you can see it better here. This is the shaped frame built. Um, I've got some two inch angle iron here. I don't know why I call it angle iron because it's steel, but two inch, two inch by two inch. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to set them up where they create that Z shape and I'm going to weld them together. Um, it's like that on the top as well as the bottom piece here. So I'm going to cut these lengths. I had to go inside and grab the drawing. I'm going to cut both of these. There's going to end up being four lengths of this. And then I'm going to start tacking those together. Then I'm going to cut the two shorter lengths and, and start tacking those together as well. Then I'm going to cut all three of these lengths here um, and try to get them tacked together. I may end out, in fact, running one across the front. I'm, I'm not entirely sure yet. I've got some leeway with this design because this is actually uh, another company's design that I'm trying to reproduce as, as best as possible while trying to keep the cost down. Because this, this, mine's going to be made out of steel. This one's designed to be made out of out of aluminum. So I'm trying. Um, weight's a factor here, but plus. The, the big factor is that I got to make sure that this thing doesn't, you know, maul up the floors and, and is easy to wheel away like a dolly and, and collapse on itself. So, and that it's, it's strong enough to, to be shooting at and being beat with a bat repeatedly and so on and so forth. So, that's what I'm building. That's what all this, this metal here is for. Not that big tubing over there or that smaller tubing, but that, that angle right there. And I'm going to get started on it. So stay tuned for part two um, and talk to you guys later. Subscribe, comment, like, and see you soon.